tens of billions of dollars of investment have fled Alberta's oil and gas sector. It builds pipelines and it gets our oil moving. This line will produce, be able to move about a million barrels of oil a day. Like it or not, no one issue will define Alberta's upcoming provincial election as much as oil. It's the one issue that all of the candidates seem to agree on in terms of its importance to voters. Where the differences are is how they propose to approach the issue. For the NDP leader, the problem has been how to move the product, saying she'll fight for the long-term solution of pipelines while also pushing for the short-term solution of adding more rail capacity. Of course, what we are doing is we are investing um, uh, over $3 billion in crude by rail so that we get our product to market and we uh, take uh, the foot off of curtailment as quickly as possible. She argues the plan will also bring back more investors and increase investor confidence. Alberta Party leader Stephen Mandel is also focusing on getting market access by rail, but more permanently. And he sees Alaska as the final destination, not B.C., or the southern states. We will support a rail line from Fort McMurray up through northern Canada up into Valdez. We believe this is vitally important to have access to markets to move our products, not just oil, but agricultural products and other products that, that we so aptly manufacture and grow. He says pipelines remain an option, saying one could be built next to the rail line, but that this is a transportation issue. UCP leader Jason Kenney is making it clear increasing production is as important, if not more important, than market access. He wants the approval process for new wells to become the fastest, while also guaranteeing the royalty rate will stay the same for a well as the day it was drilled. But when it comes to market access, he says the UCP approach is all of the above. We want to work with the Eagle Spirit Consortium of First Nations in Northern BC, led by uh, Calvin Highland, to bring Northern Gateway back. We want to work with Premier Blaine Higgs in New Brunswick in reviving the concept of Energy East and East Coast Pipeline. We'll do everything we can to push for the accelerated construction and completion of the Keystone XL Pipeline. There is overlap of one kind or another in all of the platforms which want the energy sector to succeed. It's mostly a matter of how voters want the issue approached and who voters think will deliver. In Turner Valley, Jonathan Muma, City News.